Hi, this is Sylvain from Create Your Biz Today, and in this video, we'll see how on System.io we can create email campaign or email sequence and how to add already subscribed emails to these campaigns and also how to automate that when you have a squeeze page. So without further ado, let's start. If you don't have a System.io account yet, you can check my link below the video and you will have two things. You will have 30 days trial for System.io to be able to test it properly instead of 14 days. And you will also get a free video training of eight videos created by the founder of System.io, Aurelien Macker. Check the link if you don't have a System.io account yet. Now we are on System.io dashboard here. You go on emails and then campaigns, and then you are on the campaign page here. You just click create here. You select the name you want to put for this campaign and the description and you save it. Then it will be there. So I have campaign one already created there. I click on it and then you arrive on the screen uh, empty at this time you need to create the different steps and different emails on this sequence so we will add the first email here so you see different things the subject here you have the sender email address and the sender name and also you have the save and send a test email it will send automatically a test email of this campaign to a predefined email address these three parameters there, the sender email address, the sender name and the test email should be defined in your parameters there. If you click there on your profile, you have the mailing settings and in there you can define these three different things. So you don't have to change it every time. So once you've done that, you can create an email in uh, this simple editor. And what you can do also is substitution of, uh, of variables. That means if you uh, gather the name of the person, uh, the first name, for example, you will say hello, uh, you want to do uh, to say hello, Paul, for example. So we, you will put the code here, for example, first name there we have. So we just copy that, we put it there. And then that means once we will send this email to the person, it will be replaced by his first name. So it's more customized email. So you can do a lot of different variables. You can have a look on, on this list, uh, but yeah, you need to create this email. And then uh, once you've done that, you need to define when to send it. So the delay before sending email. So this is the first email of the campaign. So we put zero there, so it will be sent automatically, directly without waiting. And after this email, you can't use it because it's just a way to organize you, the, the order of your emails once you have multiple emails. So we will save it this, this time. Oh, we need to put a subject. So test email one, for example, save. So we have our first email in the campaign, in the sequence. So now we have the second one. Same thing, uh, exactly the, the same interface as before. Just, just the thing you need to watch out the delay before sending email. So for, for example, we say, okay, we want to have two days between the first mail and the second one. So we will put there two days and we are good to go. In fact, uh, after this email, so it's the same, we just have one email. So it will be sent after the email one. Okay. So let's put test email two and then hello here and then save. Then we have a sequence with two emails. If we added one more, uh, same test, email three. And then we see here after email, but we can change the place the, where the order of the email, in fact, we can put it after test email one. It's really useful when you, you want to increase the number of emails in uh, an existing sequence. You can reorder everything using that. So once there, we want to put two days more. So that means on the fourth day, uh, it will receive the third mail. So let's save. It's always, uh, the delay is always related to the previous email. Okay, previous email. Okay, so we have a three email sequence there. So how to uh, make your already subscribed user that are in your email list using this uh, email sequence. It's pretty simple. You go in your contact there once you are in the contact, you can filter everything. You, you can filter by tag or by something else. Uh, you, the contact you want to send this email sequence to. 
And then once done, you can either click there to select everything because you already filtered them. So you can do that or you can also do it one by one. So if you click on your contact, you see here more actions menu that appear here. So you click on it and subscribe to campaign and then you will find back the campaign campaign one and you can choose which step you want to start with. So that means uh, you can hook some person in the middle of a campaign if that makes sense with your business for sure. Okay, so now this person has subscribed to, to my email sequence and he will receive all the emails in this email sequence. So now if you want to do that directly using your squeeze page. So we need to go on the funnel spot and use an active funnel, this one for capture funnel two, I created earlier. And you want to do that directly. That means you go on automation rules and on actions there, we see here we have some action. That means we are tagging the contact as a lead when it subscribe. And we're also tagging it to know from where it was from YouTube video, free training. So we can add an action there and this action will be subscribe to campaign and subscribe to campaign. We will then choose the campaign one and then save the rule. Once done, every time someone opt in with your squeeze page, it will automatically be registered to this campaign and we receive all the emails in this campaign. So this is a really good way to, to warm up your leads for them to become your future customer. So you see that with System.io it's pretty simple to manage that, to manage your contact with tags, simple one and only one email list and you tag everything so you can segment your email contacts properly. And you can also create campaigns really easy. So if you don't have an account yet, just check the link. Remember 30 days of trial to test it properly and the eight free videos from uh, the founder of System.io. So if you like this video, drop a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I see you in the next video. Ciao.